Hi guys, this is Forrest, QA engineer for Nesting Utility. I want to take this chance to give you a brief introduction of the key features of Nesting Utility 2019.3 update. Okay, let's get started with this inventor part. The first thing I want to show you is called Nest Authoring, which is something new for this release. Once you get your part open, Red mouse clicks on a root node of your broad tree, and uh, here is the entrance of this command, nest authoring. In this command, you can preview and check the shape and the distance of that shape you want to use for nesting. So it won't you it will make sure you get the shape you really want to use before enter the nesting utility environment. So for example here I just choose the feature use nesting is extrusion one and the preview it you will see the nesting thickness has been calculated automatically which is two millimeter and the shape itself has been highlighted. So you know this is the shape I want to use. If yes you click OK, if not click cancel. And you can actually switch that to a different extrusion. In this case the nesting thickness has been updated automatically, which is the real number of this uh, extrusion distance, right? And uh, here, if you say OK, the final shape that gets used for nesting will be the circle. OK, so this is the basic demo of this nest authoring command. It's also very helpful if you have something like this, which you get imported from some third party and uh, you can have a try with nesting authoring so in this time uh, since it's a third party part uh, it don't have uh, it don't have the extrusion feature or the sketch feature so the generate cat provider will be used automatically and if you preview it you can get you can see this is the final shape and distance that will be used for nesting. But the generated cat provider supports you to change the thickness, which is different than the extrusion. Right? So you can change it. For example, I change it to one inch. It's basically used the shape of this geometry but the distance is defined by yourself okay here if you say okay and create nest the shape plus this distance as the thickness will be used and if you want to go back to the automatic one just check it you can see the value just been reset as the thickness of this distance and if you say okay the thickness will be this value And the generate CAD provider is actually very useful for something like this, where you have two extrusions. If you use the inventor CAD provider, the result will be something not you expect. You can see. This is uh, actually the feature useful nesting when the, when it is point to the extrusion one, but if you switch to extrusion two, it still won't be the shape you want, right? But if you use generate cat provider, it will be it will calculate the shape, which is the circle minus this square as a whole. Okay. So if you have some some model with some complex modeling steps, I would recommend you use this generate cat provider to see if you can get the the real shape that you want to use for cutting or for nesting. Okay. The second thing I want to show you is the uh, 3D view 
of the nesting utility. Now we support that. For example, we start with this uh, third-party data and say create nest. See here is something different than before. Uh, the source provider will be displayed as read only if you have used the nesting authoring to predefine your provider. So you won't be able to change it in the source dialog. You can go back to the inventor environment and change it, the provider from the nest authoring command. So in the in the previous build, what we have is just a 2D view, right? Now is in this point three update, so you have different display views to support the 3D view. So for example, 3D extruded, that will extrude the real shape based on the based on the distance you you specify and the 3D detail which will show you the the source model of your part which content which will be much more complex and the 3D compare which is really a magic you can see it just compared the 3D shape 3D extruded and the 3D details and let you see the real part and the part that you be used for nesting And the other entries is is here, so basically they are synchronized. You st if you change something here and hit OK, this view will be updated as well. The last thing I want to show you is uh, the enhancement of this create 3D model. So for example, if I have the sheet like this, and I want to create a 3D model, in the previous build what you have is just create a part with multiple body and every shape will be put on that part as some features. Now we support to export the the file as a assembly structure and uh, you can specify where you want to put your files. For example I want to put it here in a demo folder and hit OK. Then we'll see an IAM which is an inventor assembly file will be created automatically and the shape uh, inside the, the sheet will be created as a part file with distance. right? And the stock will be created automatically which is same as before and all of this will be saved placed and uh, arranged automatically in this assembly file and you can save this file to the same location as uh, as the file you specified before save here and now let's check the folder choosing the desktop and the demo folder now you can see you have your assembly file and the two shape has been saved as the inventor part and also your stock has been saved so you can package this folder to to pass to whatever you want which is really helpful I think